Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to a video. We are at a 1000 mile mark on the Apria SR GT125, so I thought that was an excuse to show you a quick look around the bike, just see if there's any obvious wear and tear. It's been through a Scottish winter, it's now amazingly a beautiful Scottish summer. It's about 23 degrees here today, which is, uh, which is warm for where I am in the world. Um, we've also got some rather attractive Citroen CVs uh, parked in my, uh, in my workplace. Uh, car park today. So anyway, I just want to do a quick show you around the bike, show you how it's looking after a, a you know, a good, what are we on, nine, ten months on the road, through a bad winter in Scotland, and uh, a thousand miles on the clock. I mean, I'm obviously saying I'm not the highest roller in the world, we know that, um, but, you know, it's, it's reached that mark, so it's a milestone worth having a look at. So anyway, coming up, let's have a look at the bike. Okay, so let's start her up. It's really bright sunshine here today, but... Maybe we'll see. Oh well, 1,001 miles. Well, we're not going to quibble about a mile. So that's it, over the 1,000 mile mark. So, how is she holding up? Well, no problems with the dash. I've heard some people say you can get uh, misting or water behind the dash. That's never happened to me, and I even use a, a sort of power jet, I think, to wash it. No problems with the dash, no issues with water or anything like that behind it. So the tyres are holding up well. Again, I've heard some people say these wear very quickly. I mean, I do a lot of, so it's all street riding for me. I've not had any issues at all with the tyres. They're fine, um, plenty tread left on them. Uh, another complaint I heard was that the paint on the forks can peel. Again, no issues with that with me at all. Um, and remember, I live near the sea and also we have road salt on the, the roads in winter. So, I mean, if anything's gonna cause paint peeling, it'll be a, that combination, but the wheels, disc brakes, everything in lovely condition, a thousand miles on from you. I've added a bit of person personalisation here. We've got the Apria Lion and I put what somebody jokingly called Go Faster Stripes on. Just to add a bit of colour to the front. Obviously we've got my YouTube channel, the L plate because I ride on a provisional license in Scotland. I don't have a full motorbike license. Uh, the stickers and things that came with the bike are still looking as good as the day I got it. So these are my homemade aluminium footrests, which again are, are holding up pretty well, all things considered. Um, I have seen a few ads on Facebook for people in Malaysia, I think it is, who are doing nice fancy ones now, but you know, the cost of buying them plus the postage to the UK. I think I'll stick with my own ones for the time being. They're not perfect, but I think they look quite smart. Still got the mobile phone holder on. I have to say I've never actually used this yet. I don't like really having a mobile phone on here. That's the brace bar I fitted up as well. Um, but it's handy if I ever need it, you know, for a GPS or something like that. If I go on a, a longer trip, it's, it's, it's a good wee holder anyway. It's quite solid, so it's just going to sit there. It's not causing me any problems. The mirror extenders, a little bit of rust in the top there. I should really get a cap or something for the top of that, but that's no issue. Um, the mirror extenders to me just make the stock mirrors actually usable, which um, they aren't without them. Here we've got the rear of the bike. I mean, the plastics are all fine. I've still got my um, shock protectors on, just keep some of the nasties off in the winter months. Again, uh, back wheel and everything, you know, touch of corrosion -y bits there, but nothing nothing worth bothering about at all. It's all pretty good. Um, the shocks are obviously one of the main issues people have with the bikes. Now, personally, I don't have an issue with them. Um, I, I only ride myself. I don't have a license for two people. So, you know, it's, it's not an issue for me. Um, I've got them ramped up, I think, to the second highest setting and I find them fine. A lot of people swap out the shocks and complain about them. Personally, I don't have an issue with it, but you know, each to their own. I've got the Jivvy top box on, um, which I still use every day to keep my work bag in. I'm actually looking at maybe changing this soon and getting one of the aluminium square boxes, which I quite like. Not one of the branded ones, which costs three, four hundred pounds, but you can get an unbranded one for about 150. Uh, that comes with the plate and everything. Um, and the, the video reviews of it on YouTube are pretty good. So I am thinking of getting rid of this at some point and getting the, the metal one, but you know, it's, it's a, a project for the future. I'll still be able to use the rack because that's a shad rack on it and I'll still be able to, to use that. So I don't need to change the rack. 
exhaust side of the engine as you can see all wearing well nice and shiny no issues with corrosion or anything like that i do try and keep the bike reasonably clean but you know it does get covered in muck and grime most of the time in scotland and yeah it's uh, it's holding up pretty well i think and still looking very smart just a quick look at what I keep under my seat. Sunglasses, which I will need today. I don't need these a lot in, in Scotland, but I will need them today. Uh, bungee cords in case I've got any large, larger parcels to attach to the seat. Uh, we tire valve checker, just to keep an eye on the tires. That's quite handy. Multi-tool thing with oh, Allen keys and there's a little spanner thing on it and things. You know, handy for emergencies. This is, I don't know what this is. Oh yeah, and here we've got fuses. And also, in case we get a puncture, we have the tubes of compressed air. And somewhere in here should also be, there we go. I like these things. Very good if you're going over a nail or a screw or something, because you just pull the screw out, take that off, screw it into the hole, snap the end off, fill the tire up, and away you go. These work really well. Obviously, if there's a tear or anything in the tire, these are no use, but for a puncture like a, a screw or a nail or something goes into your tire, these are really good. Uh, what else in here? We've just got chains. This is the main lock I use, Oxford Boss Alarms Dislock. Really, really good, solid thing. It's always on the bike. Uh, and this is here if I ever, if I'm parked next to something, I can get a chain round as well. Shopping bag for the messages, and that's it. So that's it guys, 1000 miles on the clock, no problems at all to report with the bike, it works like clockwork, very happy with it, lovely bike to ride for short town rides, longer distances, works a dream, very happy with it, and no mechanical or you know, build issues to report at all so far. And bear in mind I don't live in a nice particularly sunny climate, don't be fooled by today, so it does see a lot of rough weather and a lot of unpleasant things on the road, um, and it's holding up. it's holding up really really well, so happy with that. So that's it guys, just a quick thousand mile up video for you. I uh, hope everything's going well with your bikes too. And thanks again for watching. All the best. Cheers now.